this is your favorite breakfast show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. And joining me in studio to talk about weight loss and plastic surgery is Dr. Hilmar and Eric Way. Welcome this morning. Hi, Got you up Hi, nice and early. I hope you don't Hi. have to go straight to work after this. <laughs> no, not yet. Dr. Lars, who should consider plastic surgery? Well, patients who have lost a lot of weight usually have some form of skin excess, whether it be a small amount of skin or a massive amount of weight loss, will inevitably produce some loose skin. And there's no other way to remove the excess by doing plastic surgery. We, however, would like to see patients who are in a good condition physically and who've lost the amount of weight that they intend to lose. So they should be pretty close to their goal weight yeah. or at least have reached their goal and not consider the plastic surgery as a quick way to, quick to lose fix. further. A quick fix, it never is. Yeah. No. no, there is no such thing as a quick not fix. At all, no. And Eric, did you consider having plastic surgery? Sure, Liesl, of course. You know, it's one of those things, it's probably the easiest thing to do because you just go into theatre mm. and you have it done. Yeah. However, I think once I had gone and seen some of the surgeons, I ended up realising that it's not the... You know, it, it is perfect as far as trying to sort it out instantly. Yeah. But you need to really, you know, know who you're going to be going to. And at the end of the day, I think you also want to have a friend in the surgeon. It's yes. like a relationship. You can't just have this done and just, you know, walk away from it. You need to know that it's going to be perfect with the person doing it for you. And our tummy tuck, what are the consequences? And what's the whole procedure? Well, first of all, it's not a minor procedure. Yeah. It does take some time to do. So mm -hmm. it's about a two-hour or even longer procedure. But it's a superficial body surgery, so it doesn't involve going into body cavities, joints and so forth. So although it's quite a long procedure to perform, it's actually quite easy to have done from the patient's mm. point of view. But it should not be regarded as a, as a simple quick operation. It still does involve some downtime. Mm. But the downtime needn't be that long. Yeah. Patients do recover quite rapidly afterwards. And there's inevitably going to be a scar of some mm. sort, but it's well hidden. And I think the patients do accept the scar as not being an obstacle to them at all. Now, Eric, can I be really forward and ask you, did you have plastic surgery mm. after all your weight loss? You lost 60, 75, 75 kilograms? 75 kilograms, yeah. Um, Liesl, no, I haven't. <laughs> and, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not con still considering doing it yes. one day. It's just that I'm approaching it in, from a different point of mm. view. And I feel that um, maybe my way is slightly um, trying to be non-invasive. But if the result isn't exactly what I want, well, um, I'll be <laughs> in this man's surgery. <laughs> and I wanted to know if it's really expensive and does medical aid cover it? No, hardly ever. Oh. Very few medical aids <laughs> are, um, are approachable as far as plastic surgery mm. is concerned. But I think if it's well motivated, and some medical aids might contribute to the operation, but it depends on the situation. I think it's possible to approach them at uncertain times. And Eric, we're running a great viewers competition. Mm. Do you want to run us through it again quickly? Because today's the last sure. day that people can enter. Yes, Liesl, it's very exciting. We can't wait now because um, next week we're going to be bringing the actual um, six finalists onto the show for with the us. For the makeover. For the makeover. They're going to win this amazing opportunity to, you know, perhaps um, to be sponsored by us and actually to um, go on this big weight loss challenge. And, um, yeah, uh, we, we're just looking forward to, to seeing how the viewers can actually um, look and relate to every one of these six people that we're bringing onto the show. So they can still enter today. All they need to do is send in a photograph That's and a correct. short motivation about yeah. themselves. Yeah, that's right. And today's the cut-off day. So next week we hope to see all our lovely um, people who need assistance. And we'll meet them next week. Fantastic. So remember, you can be part of uh, Eric Way's makeover. Uh, part of that today is the final day. Send your email to waislam at expressoshow.com. Now, Kia's standing by with the traffic and uh, your flight details. Thank you so much for joining us on Expresso. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Join the Waislam Challenge to win a luxury trip and 50,000 rand.